The processes of the development of torpedo weapons and the renewal of the fleet's arsenals in recent decades have faced serious problems, but they continue and nevertheless give the desired result. Another achievement of this kind is the supply and development of a new electric torpedo for UIT-1 submarines. From 2023, the Dagdasil plant in Kaspersk will significantly increase the production of the latest UIT-1 Ichthyosaurus torpedoes. Ichthyosaurus is considered as a modern replacement for the USID-80 torpedo, which was put into service more than 40 years ago. These weapons are built on the basis of modern technologies and solutions, which should provide a number of important advantages in all characteristics and parameters. The use of an up-to-date component base, in turn, simplifies production in current conditions and also creates a certain groundwork for future upgrades. The 533mm torpedoes of the new type are theoretically compatible with all Russian submarines with the appropriate apparatus. At the same time, UIT-1 has so far been seen only on board one of the diesel Varshavyanka. Whether such torpedoes will fit into the ammunition load of other ships, including nuclear-powered ones, is unknown. At present, Dagdazel is fulfilling an order for the production of 73 torpedoes of a new type. Obviously, such a number of weapons will not allow a full-scale rearmament of the submarine forces. It is easy to calculate that the ordered number of torpedoes will only be enough to fully equip six diesel electric submarines of Project 636.3 of the Black Sea Fleet, taking into account the fact that the ammunition of such ships also includes missiles. From this it follows that in the future there will be new orders for the same or more torpedoes. In 2018, the Ministry of Defense signed a five-year contract with Dagdasil for the supply of 73 Ichthyosaurus torpedoes to the Russian Navy. This amount is not enough even to equip all diesel-electric submarines of Project 636.3 in the fleet. They require at least twice as many products, said the interlocutor of the agency. The electric 533mm torpedo UIT-1 is designed to replace the USID-80 in the fleet, which was put into service more than 40 years ago. The characteristics of the Ichthyosaurus are classified, but in open sources there is a description of the export version of the torpedo. For her, a maximum speed of 50 knots and a cruising range of 25 kilometers are declared, it is reasonable to assume that the parameters of the option for the Russian fleet are higher. The product is equipped with a brushless electric motor, which eliminates the possibility of overheating and creating interference that affects the Istusaurus electronics. The torpedo has a hydroacoustic homing system for underwater and surface targets and is capable of detecting the wake. In February 2020, the KTRV leadership spoke about the successful completion of state tests of several promising weapons, Inkel. New torpedo. At the time of disclosure of this information, there was a process of registration of the necessary documentation for subsequent adoption. The type of the new torpedo was not specified, but the media suggested that it was about the UIT-1 product. At the beginning of 2021, KTRV again revealed new details of the current work. Then they recalled the recent completion of state tests and also indicated that the first production samples of the new weapon entered service with the fleet. June 21 RIA News again indicated that UIT-1 entered service with the submarine forces of the Navy. 
The bulk of the data on the UIT-1 Ichthyosaur product remains closed. At the same time, the main features and characteristics of its export modification UIT-1E have been published. It is argued that weapons for third countries are characterized by reduced characteristics, which makes it possible to represent the approximate level of the product for the Russian Navy. UIT-1 is a 533mm homing electric torpedo designed for use by submarines. It was mentioned that due to new components and solutions, it was possible to reduce the length of the product. Apparently, in its scheme, the product is similar to other electric torpedoes. It was reported that the torpedo is equipped with a brushless electric motor. Such a power plant, unlike the motors of older torpedoes, does not face the problem of overheating while driving and also does not create interference that affects the electronics of the torpedo. The engine is connected to the propeller without an intermediate gear. The type and characteristics of the battery that powers the product were not specified. For the export modification of UIT-1E, a maximum speed of 50 knots and a cruising range of 25 kilometers are declared. The torpedo for the Russian fleet should show higher performance. At the same time, both versions of the Ichthyosaurus are superior to domestic torpedoes of previous generations in terms of their main characteristics. The torpedo is equipped with a sonar homing system. The exact parameters of this system are not disclosed, but an increase in the detection range is mentioned in comparison with previous developments. The system provides search and guidance to underwater and surface targets and is also capable of detecting a wake. In the UIT-1 torpedo, only homing is provided. There is no possibility of telecontrol from the carrier. The combat parameters of UIT-1 remain unknown. The torpedo can carry a charging compartment of unknown mass. It also provides for the installation of a practical department, which allows you to perform multiple practice shooting, which is especially important in light of the high cost of a single product. The production of the required number of torpedoes for the rearmament of all planned carriers will take a lot of time. However, even in this case, the situation looks positive. For the first time in many years, the Russian industry has developed and brought to production an electric torpedo, superior in all respects to its predecessors. Such projects are not distinguished by simplicity, and the appearance of the UIT-1 Ichthyosaur should be considered a real success for Russian torpedo builders. Now the industry has to work on the implementation of the existing contract and wait for new orders from the Ministry of Defense and foreign countries. The high technical level and new capabilities of the torpedo will contribute to their early appearance.